How's everybody doing today? Good, all right. Uh, my name is Sam Nam. I'm a product manager and co-founder of Nextverb. Um, I have a question for everybody here today. How many of you are concerned that there's too much of your personal information on, on the web? Okay, uh, if you're not concerned, I think that you will be concerned after seeing what we have built. Um, because what we've done is we've used your Facebook data to determine your taste in food. So the problem that we want to solve is that food apps suck. Yes, I said it. Talking about Yelp, Urban Spoon, um, Food Spotting, and others out there. First of all, you're relying on strangers to tell you what's good or what's bad. Um, well, what's wrong with that? Well, strangers don't know what I like. You know, the chicken biryani that you like might not be a good fit for me, right? So um, it's not a good idea to rely on strangers' opinions uh, because you'll be disappointed by the restaurants that they find you. Second problem is that they don't recommend you. So let's say you're hungry, but you don't know what to eat. What do you do on Yelp if you don't have a search uh, keyword to search with? You can't search, so you're stuck, right? So we've created Altomato. It's the first app ever to utilize, uh, to learn your unique taste in food using your Facebook activities, and we give you recommendations based off of that. So we use you and your friends' um, check-ins, photos, and status updates. We'll analyze this information, and we'll give you awesome recommendations on restaurants, bars, and cafes. So as you can see, uh, no one in the industry does better personalization and recommendation than All Tomato. So let me show you how it works. All right, when you first turn the app, uh, it takes you to a page called the Food Feed. I think that we're really changing the paradigm on how we find food with this because traditionally you have to search using a specific keyword. Here, you don't search for anything. We just give you recommendations so you make good discoveries. And if you want um, new recommendations, you just simply pull, oh. you just simply pull down to get more. All right, so on the revenue model, um, we're going to create a platform for small businesses to create um, promotions that incentivize users to check in, like, or share, or do other activities on Facebook. By doing this, it becomes their native um, advertisements. Also, it increases their social presence on the web. And, and for this, we'll charge them a fee to use this tool. All right, uh, these are our co-founders. John Park is our CEO. He worked at Symantec for a number of years on automated classification of computer viruses. So he knows very well how to build intelligent algorithms based on machine learning. Um, and he's also a successful entrepreneur, um, having sold close to a million dollars worth of apps on the App Store. Um, our data scientist is Dr. Hakim. He currently works at Marvell as a digital signal processing architect. Um, he's participated in competitions like Netflix Challenge, where he, where he built amazing recommendation engines. So we're currently in the stage, uh, we're currently raising money for seed stage funding of $600,000. Uh, we're going to build a scalable backend and front end system, and also we'll run the company for 12 months with this money. So in closing, um, Altimeter was our first attempt at predicting human behavior using data on social networks. And what we wanna do is we wanna apply this technology to other areas like music, fashion, and travel. Thank you so much. Questions? Um, so how, how do you determine the recommendations that you make is different compared to the recommendations that your own friends are making? On, on what basis you, know, you, make the, you make the recommendations? Oh, you want to know our secret sauce? Yeah. OK. Uh, if you want to grab coffee afterwards, we could talk about this for sure. sure but I yeah. still want to know. Yeah. In the next 30 uh, so, seconds. I mean, it's, you... it's you know, regression and correlation, um, just in a simple sense. Regression and correlation based on what? Based, based... on the check-ins, your photos, your status updates, and what others. If, what if I'm not even doing that? Uh, you're, if you're not what? No, I'm not even checking in. Oh, then you, there's a problem. Then you're not our customer. No, um, I'm still interested. I'm, <laughs> I'm still interested. Um, well, what you could do is we could actually use your friends' check-ins and photos and other stuff to kind of uh, you know, understand who you are. But obviously, the accuracy of that will you know, go down significantly if you don't use your data. OK. Yeah. OK, so it's, it's purely based on my own actions. That yes. Then, then you correlate that with what others 
or eating in other places, and then you make the recommendation. Yeah, there's, there's a, yeah, we factored that into, like the popularity of the restaurants or whether or not it's open. So, so let's take, for example, I'm in Berkeley, right? Mm -hmm. And I, you figure out somehow, let's say I check in that I'm in Berkeley. Yeah. Then you, you then make the recommendation based on my previous uh, restaurants that I have gone. Or, Absolutely, yeah. And you recommend some restaurants at that time. Yes, yes, that's part of it. Okay, in, in different cuisines and... Yeah, yeah. That. I mean, the, the way we do it different than like, there's other apps that does recommendations like Ness or Alfred. What they do is they actually have you sit down and um, rate like 10 different restaurants. But, you know, there's a limit to how many restaurants that you could just sit there and rate, right? So what we do is we eliminate all that process because we have all that data on Facebook. And, you know, we're not just talking about tens of data, we're talking about thousands of data that you have on Facebook. I mean, for me, you know, check-ins, photos, and status updates, I probably have a few thousand that I could utilize to make correlation and do regression on it. Okay. So I, I didn't quite get the revenue model. So uh -huh. you make this recommendation to me yep. on some restaurant XYZ that yep. I go. How do you make money? Uh, we make money by, so right now, you know, I think that having a social presence on the web is becoming very crucial for offline businesses as well. And a lot of companies are trying to figure out, hey, how do we, you know, uh, have our customers come in and check into our places or upload photos. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a platform where business can create promotions that incentivize users to, you know, update uh, photos or check in or, um, you know, uh, like or share, you know, this restaurant to friends. So by doing this, they beco this becomes a native uh, advertisement on Facebook. And also by doing this, you know, they're getting check-ins and likes on Facebook, so they're getting increased of uh, a social presence on web as well. Okay. And then we charge them to use this platform. Okay. Do, have you deployed this to your friend circle? And uh, is we, that spreading well? We are, we are planning to do a beta this month. Okay. Yeah. Do if you, you're interested... Uh, have you given any thought wanna... on, on what it takes to create a brand name? See, this is one of 500,000 applications, right, yep, that I need yep. to download. Yep, yep. So how do you differentiate to, to the end user, to me, yep. as to how do I get to know that you have built this application? Uh, how, how do we, so how do we promote our application? How do, yeah, how do the end user mm -hmm. get to know that you have this application? Yeah, I, that's a very good question. Um, you know, I think uh, launch point is crucial. Uh, first 24 hours, um, you know, we gotta have a pretty good launch. You know, we want to be featured on iTunes and, you know, Android App Store. Um, you know, and I think good apps, I mean, this is, you know, we could all say, oh, we are going to use um, some technique. But at the end of the day, we never know, right? If the product is good, people will like it and they'll share it. Uh, you know, that's, that's really our hope. Um, but in terms of, is there a magic formula as to, can we make this explode in the web? You know, there, there's, that's to be, you know, explored, I think. I wish I had a good answer for that, yeah. No, I think uh, we're done with the time. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Good job.